final lessons will be left as free of words as possible. We use them but at the beginning of our practicing and only to remind us that we seek to go beyond them. Let us turn to him who leads the way and makes our footsteps sure. To him we leave these lessons as to him we give our lives henceforth. For we would not return again to the belief in sin, which made the world seem ugly and unsafe, attacking and destroying, dangerous in all its ways and treacherous beyond the hope of trust and the escape from pain. His is the only way to find the peace that God has given us. It is his way that everyone must travel in the end because it is this ending God himself appointed. In the dream of time it seems to be far off, and yet, in truth, it is already here, already serving us as gracious guidance in the way to go. Let us together follow in the way the truth points out to us. And let us be the leaders of our many brothers who are seeking for the way, but find it not. And to this purpose, let us dedicate our minds, directing all our thoughts to serve the function of salvation. Unto us, the aim is given to forgive the world. It is the goal that God has given us. It is his ending to the dream we seek, and not our own. For all that we forgive, we will not fail to recognize as part of God himself. And thus his memory is given back completely and complete. It is our function to remember him on earth, as it is given us to be his own completion in reality. So let us not forget our goal is shared. For it is that remembrance which contains the memory of God and points the way to him and to the heaven of his peace. And shall we not forgive our brother who can offer this to us? He is the way, the truth and life that show the way to us. In him resides salvation, offered us through our forgiveness given unto him. We will not end this year without the gift our Father promised to his Holy Son. We are forgiven now, and we are saved from all the wrath we thought belonged to God and found it was a dream. We are restored to sanity, in which we understand that anger is insane, attack is mad, and vengeance merely foolish fantasy. We have been saved from wrath because we learned we were mistaken. Nothing more than that. And is a father angry at his son because he failed to understand the truth? We come in honesty to him and say we did not understand and ask him to help us to learn his lessons through the voice of his own teacher. Would he hurt his son? Or would he rush to answer him and say, this is my son and all I have is his? Be certain he will answer thus, for these are his own words to you. And more than that can no one ever have, for in these words is all there is and all that there will be throughout all time and in eternity.